basically, properties of algebra describe what you can and cannot do with algebra. Properties go under the headings of commutative properties, associative properties, distributive properties, inverse properties already mentioned in the previous section on variables, and identity properties. Let's begin with a commutative property. Have you ever noticed that we can add numbers in any order we want, but we can't do the same with subtraction? Also, we can multiply numbers in any order, but cannot do the same with division. For example, we can add 3 plus 5 plus 2 equals 10, and switch the order to 5 plus 3 plus 2, and still get the same answer. Doing it with subtraction will get you a different answer. Or multiply 8 times 6 times 4 equals 192. And rearrange it to 6 times 4 times 8 and still get the same answer of 192. If you try the same with division, 8 divided by 6 divided by 4, and 4 divided by 8 divided by 6, it will not work. This is what is called the commutative property of addition and multiplication. In other words, changing the order of the numbers will not affect the answer. The word commutative means exchange. Let's try the associative property now. Another truth about addition and multiplication is that you can associate as many numbers as you want and still get the same answer. This association is done by the use of parentheses. For example, 12 plus 8 plus 14 equals 12 plus 8 plus 14. Whether you associate the pair 12 and 8 first or the pair 8 and 14 first, the answer will not change. And the same happens with multiplication. 7 times 18 times 2 equals 7 times 18 times 2. Whether you associate 18 and 2 first or 7 and 18 first, the answer will not change. Now to the distributive property. This example tells you that you can add first and then multiply, or you can multiply first and then add. It doesn't matter. The answer would always be the same because the number outside the parentheses is distributed over all the numbers inside the parentheses. We call this the distributive property. Let's see this other example. Add first, then multiply. 9 plus 4 plus 6 equals 19, times 3 equals 57. Multiply first, then add. 3 times 9 plus 3 times 4 plus 3 times 6 equals 27 plus 12 plus 18 equals 57. Now, although according to order of operation rules you are supposed to do what is inside the parentheses first, sometimes this is not possible. For example, in here 5 is being multiplied by the addition of x, y, and z equals 5x plus 5y plus 5z. x, y, and z cannot be added without knowing what x, y, and z represent. Therefore, all you can do here is to distribute 5 over the three terms of the trinomial, x plus y plus z. The inverse property was mentioned before which says we can pair the arithmetic operations we use in mathematics. Inversion means that pairs of numbers do the opposite. They undo each other. For example, when subtraction undoes addition, we call it the additive inverse or negative inverse property. In this case, addition, positive, and subtraction, negative, are being paired. When division undoes multiplication, it is called the multiplicative inverse, or reciprocal property. In this case, multiplication and division are being paired. In algebra, we can also pair the square and the square root. The square raises numbers to the second power, 
3 squared equals 9. And the square root does the opposite. The square root of 9 is 3. In other words, the square and the square root are inverses of each other. So negative 8 is the additive inverse of 8. And x is the negative inverse of negative x. And 5 is the reciprocal of 1 over 5. Or we can call it the multiplicative inverse of 1 over 5. To wrap up this thing on inverses, we say that 4 squared equals 16. And then, of course, the square root of 16 is 4. And x squared equals x times x. And then the square root of x squared is the square root of x times x, or just x. The last of the properties we'll cover is the identity property. The identity property also has to do with addition and multiplication. If we add 0 to any number, the answer is the number. If we multiply 1 by any number, the answer is the number. So in the additive identity, 3 plus 0 equals 3, or a plus 0 equals a. And in the multiplicative identity, 7 times 1 equals 7, or a times 1 equals a. Remember, the identity property only takes place with addition and multiplication.